All right. Okay, so we're good. You should see a uh, mutant. You should see a mutant on your screen right now. Now, I don't want to disturb you as I speak. So let me find something else for you to look at as I uh, get into this. Let me just scroll down. I don't want you to have to. I don't want to look at that. Okay, welcome back. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying your Sunday. <laughs> um, this will be like another sort of PowerPoint, PowerPoint presentation without the PowerPoint. Okay, I won't use the PowerPoint, but I am going to examine yet another deformity that you only find in dogs. And, th and with this one, it's like almost exclusively dogs. You saw the thumbnail. Many of you may have seen this mutant mutt before, and you probably thought it was Photoshopped. Maybe somebody used some computer program graphic app to create a mutant dog. No. That was a real dog, a deformity that seems to only infect them. Now, before I get started, um, my strike, I had a 90 day strike and it paused my membership. So currently there are no members of the channel, but all of my membership perks and functions still work because it's paused it hasn't been terminated and they told me to wait 72 hours and to check to see if i have an option in my studio to reapply to some type of program partner program i have to reapply to their partner program so I will keep everybody up to date with that. And if I cannot uh, get my membership back, if people are no longer able to join the channel, that's not a problem at all, right? Uh, my first two or three years was unmonetized and we'll just go back to the way it was. But, uh, you know, people still donate all the time. I have donation options. The show will go on no matter what, right? So sit back and enjoy the ride. Um, I think it's important to point out all of these different types of illnesses, viruses, parasites, um, germs, bacteria, deformities, afflictions, infectious diseases that come from dogs and that are, you know, that you only see in dogs. It's crucial to point that out, right? Because it proves my point. These things are mutants and it's not my idea. I didn't discover it, you know, I ran across the information just like everybody else. And I just see things in reality that confirms, yes, they are mutants. Y'all remember I shared that article, I went over an article, I made a video about it, how dogs are mutants. This is according to science, not IHD. This is according to science, they're mutants. And boy, oh boy, the evidence in nature is abundant. It's just far, it's overflowing at this point. It's ridiculous. So I think it's foolish when you have things like this. It's foolish to refer to these creatures as animals. No. No. 
see, and, and, and then right away they go to showing it with the child. Just for, and of course, this is the dodo. Let me not even share that video. I don't, I cannot stand them. The dodo is so sick. You know, the uh, video is going to be full of kids if the video is from the dodo. I'm not even going to show that. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Now, before I, before I torture you, I don't want to torture you all like that. For the people who may not be aware of even what this is, they say it's a very rare genetic disease that causes fusion of vertebral bones in the spine and a shortened compressed spine as a result. Okay, it causes fusion of the vertebral bones in the spine. You know how you have the uh, was it the cartilage in between your bones or the vertebrae or whatever? in your spine well it fuses with these mutts so there is no cartilage and now what it is here let's let's get a little deeper into it now look at what look at some of the uh other terms that it goes by it's not just known as short spine syndrome Sometimes it's called canine short spine syndrome. Canine. Okay. Now, what is it? They're in a debate over what it actually is. For the longest time, it was considered to be a generic condition. There seems to be a link between inbreeding and short spine. Dogs are inbreds. That's what makes them mutants. <laughs> oh my goodness. These are literal mutants on our planet. Uh, short story. Being a supposed genetic condition, dogs are born with short spine syndrome. It's not something that arises as a result of trauma. According to research, listen to this. The vertebrae in the spine are made up of bone and cartilage. In the case of short spine dogs, the cartilage doesn't turn into bone, a process known as ossifying. Because of this, some of the individual vertebrae then come together and end up fusing together, causing the shortening. It also causes serious stability issues. <laughs> Not only with mobility, but also in the spine itself. Now, here's the problem I have with this. There's a lot more to, uh, to read into about this. Here, I'll go ahead and share this. Here's the problem I have with this. Is that when you Google short spine syndrome, like I have, you already didn't know. You go to images. All you see is dogs. Just like with everything else, just like with bot flies, just like with reverse sneezing, where dogs sneeze backwards and they're the only ones that seem to do it. Just like a whole bunch of other things, just like rabies seems to exclusively come from dogs. Okay, at how how many more pieces of the puzzle do you need before you see the picture? These things shouldn't even be here. So this is a real genetic disorder. And when you Google the word short spine syndrome, I mean, and I'm dead serious, all you see is dogs. That's a problem. That's a problem. Bot flies? No. Why, when you Google mango worms, these large parasites 
that look like giant maggots. Why do we like exclusively see dogs? I understand there's some people too, but where do you think people getting it from? There are a whole but and this is in Africa. There are a whole bunch of different types of animals in Africa. Why is there only dogs turning up infected with these bot flies? Reverse sneezing. Why is it that only dogs pop up? Huh? Look at this. Look at how wrinkled this dog's skin is. That's problematic. It leads to infections, all types of stuff. Yeast infections, germs, bacteria hide out in the folds of its skin. Look at how many things work against dogs that are a part of the dog's anatomy. Your own, when your own body works against you, it's because you are a mutant. That's what makes you a mutant. You're full of deformities. You can't function properly. Nothing works properly. And you're just a mess. Now, when you observe the behavior of these uh, deformed mutants, it is interesting. They almost look like small pigs. Okay, now you have to, people, this is, this is difficult to look at. We all know this. These things are difficult to look at. It, 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 mutants usually are difficult to look at. These are, it, now why? If, if you have only one type of animal that suffers from all of these different types of crazy spaced out Stuff that's like from outer space. Like some type of uh, asteroid sent some extraterrestrial parasite to the planet and it only infected dogs. And now dogs have all these deformities. Their urine kills plant life. Their excrement, it, it contaminates for years and parasites everywhere. Nasty, filthy. This is, this is scary scary stuff i'm far beyond convinced okay far beyond convinced that this is a t very sadistic and evil to keep these things on this planet to keep them in existence itself is immoral how, how can you disagree with that this is immoral and and to a sort of Pretend like their deformities are something to be happy about and throw a party over. The more deformed they are, the more deformed they are, the more you gloat over them. That is sick. That is sick. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. And it, it, can you argue against that isn't it supposed to be immoral to keep something in existence that suffers its whole life look at this thing what's wrong with what is it doing people what if you didn't know what this was and you just woke up one morning and you saw it right outside your bedroom door what would you would you think this is a natural animal that, that found its way inside your home? Or would you think, or would, you'd be scared to death. You probably think you were dreaming. You woke up, saw something like this. Now they say this is a very rare disease. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Now granted, I don't see that many of them, but I don't care how rare it is. When you see it, it's dogs. That, that's really the only thing that matters. Okay? 
I, I, hey, I can't see past that. The fact that it's just dogs. He's a true German Shepherd. Just shut. <laughs> okay, that's a German Shepherd version. A German Shepherd with a shortened spine. Yeah, isn't it true that when siblings mix, when they uh, copulate, you know, brothers and sisters, that's called uh, inbreeding, and it increases the chances that the offspring will be deformed and have deformities, right? Four-year-old German Shepherd Quasimodo is believed to be one of just 15 dogs worldwide living with short spine syndrome. One of 15 dogs worldwide. Dogs only live for what? 15, 20 years? So there's always new dogs like this being born. And his unusual looks have made him a social media star. And again... They're only being born with dogs. How come all other animals' spinal cord ain't fusing together and they're running around looking like a shortened version of themselves with no tail? It's crazy how viral it went. I mean, we had no idea. I teased it on our Facebook page. A few and listen, this motherly, here we go with that motherly love like she's, talking about her own daughter or son her own offspring what is what what is this where you want to be the parent of dogs that is disgust if you're being and they're being literal they're living it out you want to be you really do want to be the parent of dogs now if you say that in a joking way and never try to live it out that's one thing then we could just brush it off but this is problematic we all know this weeks ago and it got a nice amount of likes but nothing like out of control and then as soon as we made a facebook page for him which is quasi the great he stole everybody's hearts you know so i've been working really hard at so she made a facebook page for it to flaunt its deformities making sure that we're posting about him and really showing his personality, showcasing who he is, because to be honest, he represents a much bigger no, group. No, no. To be honest, the other dogs don't seem much different from this dog. And do you, what in the, I did not do that on purpose. I did not stop this at this moment on purpose. I didn't even see this at first. I tried to rewind it and it stopped right here. Do y'all see what's going on in this screenshot? Can y'all see this? He kissing that dog right in the mouth, holding his baby. This is terrible. Because to be honest, he represents a much bigger group. Quasi was actually found running. Wait a minute, stray. wait a minute. Wow. This is difficult. This is difficult. This is next level. I'm sorry, people. You, uh, brace yourself. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was this bad. In Kentucky and they couldn't catch him. It actually took them five days to catch him and they had to use a live trap. Quasi was really fearful and scared of people at first. The first day I met him, he was so scared and shy. And I thought, I wonder if this dog really does enjoy life. And wow. She said she wonder if it really does enjoy life. How, how would you enjoy life? If your spine was about the third of the size that it is now, how would you feel about that? If your maneuverability was impaired and you were very clumsy because your spine was fused together. What type of thing is that to say? 
Ain't that kind of ridiculous? <laughs> now, when there is a, um, a dog that's been shot, and we all know this, Here, here's a puppy version, mutt with a shortened spine. When a dog has been shot and it hasn't died, the cop or whoever, they'll shoot it again quite often. They'll say, put it out of its misery because now it's suffering. It's not enjoying life, it's suffering. Why doesn't that standard hold true with at least the most deformed dogs out there? Like these dogs, pugs, and these dogs not much different from pugs. Severely uh, mutated, deformed dogs. Pugs might be a little worse. Yeah? At least that dog's, that German Shepherd's ears stand up. Pugs that just hang down, not mistaken. Far more wrinkles, the breathing issues. No telling what kind of issues this thing has. Isn't this immoral? To uh, Dogs are bad enough because dogs are mutants. This is just a mutated mutant. It, you know? A mutated mutant. A mutant of a mutant. And it gets praised even more because of it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know, it kills me how they act like we're unreasonable for pointing this out. You know, they act like we're unreasonable, like us calling this out and being disgusted by it. It's somehow immoral and unreasonable. No. Why, why can't this lifestyle be unreasonable? That's what's unreasonable. I'm, I don't have a problem living around people. I do have a problem living around dogs because I'm not a dog. Right? People are not dogs. You know, so I don't have to hold dogs up to the standard of human beings. And to be honest, there are a lot of uh, different infections, deformities and stuff that uh, is common in dogs that I don't even know about yet. You could probably, you know, do this all day, create vid videos like this all day. You know, when you have a list, as long as that one that's available on Wikipedia. You know, each one of those might look just as crazy as this. Yeah, we don't know. I didn't look them up. A lot of those diseases, when you look them up, they look horrible. It's something you've never seen before. And always, only common, only found among dogs. We don't need any more proof that these things, that these are beyond mutants. They start to mutate from their mutated state. That's the crazy part. And it's not just these short spine dogs. It's also like pugs and other more mutated dogs. So there's stage, different stages of mutation with these things. And the more mutated they become, Pugs can't even reproduce. And bulldogs, they have to reproduce them artificially. They have to be artificially inseminated. They can't even mate like other living creatures to reproduce because they're that deformed. And they get praised because of their deformities. That is psycho. That's completely psycho. It's not a game, it's not funny, it's not cute. That's crazy, immoral, that's inhumane. That is savage, unbelievably savage. 
So this is crazy. The world is waking up to this wacky, crazy, sick segment of the world. And I'm happy about that. Right? Shout out to everybody. I managed to keep this video short by focusing on one subject. And I'm happy about that. I'm proud of myself. I've been struggling to make a shorter live stream. I don't know what has come over me. It's because I was talking about too many subjects. That's all it is. And then I digress and start babbling. Right? I wanted to focus on this because I know there was a lot of uh, people who were not, not aware of it and who may have saw it like on a meme because they're floating around on memes and they may have thought it was artificial, wasn't real. No, these things are real. And it's just one out of the many, many deformities that, that are common among dogs. Right? So, Mr. Payne, Esmeralda, Equator, Joseph, Eric, Inextinguishable, Jamie, Gling in the house, Digimon, Aldrich. As always, it's always fun chopping it up with the comrades, Louise in the house, Stan, Tony, right, Moochie. Shout out to all the new subscribers saw a lot of uh, uh, people with a lot of subscribers themselves subscribed. I hope you enjoy this wacky, crazy part of the internet. Yeah. It's pretty crazy over here. And there's no end to it. That's part of the crazy thing about it. It does not stop. It's like a production line. <laughs> oh my goodness right Ashar I see you up in here kittens shout out to everybody hope y'all follow me on Twitter and I hope you all are on the next live stream as we continue with this crusade